this is Penny Flower. It's been a very long time. Uh, I'm really excited to be back on here. Uh, it's a huge comeback. And today I'm sharing a mail that I'm sending to Karina, which is Karina Crafts. I'm sure you know her. Uh, she's a really, really talented um, crafter. And I am sending this as a rack. And yeah, I wanted to show you uh, what I was sending her. So first things first, uh, things that are not going to fit in the box that I, where I put everything are um, this um, this chipboard from the Sweet Story collection as well as the thickers. And she she is looking for the Sweet Story uh, collection that she doesn't have. And I had these in my stash and I thought I would share these with her. I wish I could share more, but I don't have a lot of the rest of the collection. Uh, but I did have quite a lot of chipboard, so I decided to share this with her. So that's that. And I need to package them, but that will be outside of, of, of the box because uh, it doesn't fit. And so this box where I included my mail um, is a photo box from uh, Action that I picked up in action. I think it's very pretty. It goes really well with the collection I'm using and I love the gold. It's really pretty. So let's open this. Um, so I should mention, so I should mention that the collection I'm using is Amelia Rose by Prima Marketing. I think it's a pretty old collection, but I got it as a uh, in second hand on vintage so I wouldn't be able to tell I also got some things from other collections from P Prima that are similar and I also used uh, these for the swap but, um, but mainly I used the papers and dyes to make up this swap so I didn't use that many embellishments and um, yeah so actually this is really funny because this swap is really inspired by what Karina makes she uses a lot of dyes and she doesn't use um, she doesn't use that many embellishment and I thought that's a really great oh I need to stick this that's a really great way to craft and I feel like I should use my embellishments more so that's what I tried to do in this swap uh not this swap this mail sorry so yeah, let me let me show you and take everything out of the box. So the first thing we have, which is actually the last uh, thing I made, is this little pocket. It's very plain and simple, um, which says happy heart. And these are like tickets that were included in the collection. And some of them I die cutted them and also stitched them. So yeah, that's what I include and I thought that would be really nice i really love this these uh tickets i think they're really pretty and yeah so i wanted to include some in her mail so that's that um next thing that we have um which i need to stick these because they don't stick properly is this um embellishment i hope the reflection of the lighting doesn't bother you too much i'm trying to avoid it um, but yeah, I made these cute, tiny little houses. Uh, if you're interested in any dyes, do not hesitate. I will try to put some in the description box, but don't hesitate to ask me um, if there's a particular dye that you're looking for. Uh, but this I got on AliExpress and it's a really cute little house dye. And it's, you guys, it's the most complicated dye I've, I've ever worked with, I think. Uh, just because it takes so long just to like put like glue all the little windows and thank god one of my dear friend came over the other day and she helped me like glue everything but it was it was a labor of love just gluing all these windows but I think it turned out really really cute so this one has green trees and then we have these which are also really pretty I love this one with the pink trees I think it looks gorgeous. So yeah, that's that's for these houses, which I, I love them so much. Next up, we have um, this, which 
I made it again a very simple back topper and then we have these cute embellishments which uh, the dye is also from Aliexpress I used like these very pretty ballerinas so as you can see here for instance I didn't use any embellishments all of these are uh, die cuts that I made and yeah I, I love these butterflies and and this is just like yeah a pocket type of thing where you take the tag out and I think they turned out really pretty so that's that um next up we have a very cute clipboard i'm thinking of putting a dangle here but i really wanted to show you now because i'm going back to the netherlands tomorrow and i wanted to film this video before then and then i'm scared that the sun will go away I mean, there's already not a lot of light, um, but I'm scared it's going to get even worse. So I really wanted to film it now, but I might add some things here and there. Here, I wanted to add a charm. If I have time, I will. And yeah, it's a cute little clipboard. Um, yeah, this is how it look like, looks like. So I have put, I put a butterfly on there and then this is one of the embellishments that was included in um in one of the yeah collection so that's that and then let's just open and so here we have this beautiful stitching machine that i put together and i added some twine around and here the little thread that goes around the stitching machine and i love the detail so i didn't decorate it too much she can also decorate it further if she wants to but I think it turned out really cute. So that's that. Um, I also made these bows, um, which I also think are so pretty. So I tried to use some colors that she can reuse for other collections, which is a pink, very classic. And yeah, these take so much time to do because I roll the thread around, around the bow and that takes quite a lot of time. So I don't like making these, but I love how they turn out every time. So I make them... For almost all my mail so yeah that's that and then there's like this beautiful trim that I added in between and then we have these I still need to <laughs> close the bag but here we have these back toppers I made they're my iconic well not iconic but I would say uh, my classic back toppers I made that I make every time I'm sending a mail and I just love this die that I'm using and yeah, so I used some like tickets from the collection and I also die cut it. And here I did use some embellishments from the collection. This love that I die cut it in different colors. And yeah, I think it turned out really cute. And then this is the clipboard. Actually, I think this would look better in this, this way. <laughs> and then we have a lot of things to go through. So... I have these really pretty uh, bows that I made and I am think I think I'm just going to leave them like that in the box. Um, yeah, but they're really, really pretty. So let me show you. This one has a stitching on top. I did only one and then I was like, no, this is way too, like too much work. So I just did this one, like the top part, which I don't think it's striking. I don't think it's a big problem but yeah that was way too much work so I didn't if it's like a simple bow I will do it but because this has like four sides it's just so much work you guys and also four layers so it's just yeah it's just a lot of work already die cutting everything is so much I think this mail has made me realize how much die cutting Karina does in all of her videos and how much time it must take her because she doesn't uses she doesn't use sorry that many embellishments so yeah it, it must take her like hours and hours and hours to make up swaps um so for the time frame uh because i have only one week of holiday um in france i managed to do this swap i think at three or four days i think four days maybe so I would say it was pretty quick, but yeah, I it took me four days to put all of this together. So 
I don't know if that's quick or not. Uh, I consider myself rather slow, but yes. Um, so then I made um this cute little I don't I don't even know how to how to call it like pocket, and so I decorated it very simply on the front, and in the back it has this like cute zipper, but it doesn't open. It's just like for decoration, but it's a cute zipper. And then I thought this would be like a proper pocket, but it's it just opens like this. So I don't know if I did this wrong or not. Uh, but inside I in I included some cute die cuts. So I thought I would share these with her. And yeah, so I'm scared they're gonna come out. I hope not. Maybe I'm gonna add some twine around. I have um these that I'm not sure. For now, they're not packaged in, like, anything. They're just like this. I don't know if I'm going to package them together or not. But, yeah, I have a second stitching machine that I did, like, the same way the first one I showed you. And then I have the, these, like, wax seals. You can see, like, the glue is not perfect. Honestly, it's also quite a lot of labor to put everything together. But I think, yeah, it turned out good. And then, um, next, I have this box, which I absolutely love, um, which also comes from Ali, the dye, and it takes quite a lot of time, and also, like, figuring out how to put, put it together is not easy, but, yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out, um, so I did some stitching, and then I added this floral uh that i die cut it and i also uh, die cut it on foam so that it would be dimensional i added this bow and this flower that i made and these cute butterflies yeah i think it turned out really really pretty so i'm really happy about this box um next up we have these so uh, the same uh, i'm not sure if i'm gonna package them this way um maybe i'm gonna add something i don't know yet but for now we have this cute little uh pink clip i'm sorry for the change of lighting you guys the the sun just comes out and comes back in so it's really hard to yeah get proper lighting but um yeah so i made these i made two and they say hello and love and then, like, basically, these, um, I don't even know how to call them. But you know what they are. <laughs> um, yeah, I forgot the word. But I think they're really pretty. And, again, I used some foam to make them, like, dimensional and some crepe paper. And they're not really, like, they don't, ha they're not really complicated. But she can also embellish them more if she wants to add a dangle or whatnot but i think they're tu they turned out cute still so that's these next up we have uh this sequin sequins mix that i did um i i think i'm gonna add a dangle there but yeah i think it's really pretty and i'm just gonna include that in the box um next up we have these are uh, cute um, memory dexes so this is how i decorated just with tickets and a clip let me take this out and i made so this one i really love and again it's mostly die cuts um yeah actually it's only die cuts um so no embellishments and I, I love how it turned out i think very simple it changes from my usual style also i love how this collection is like pink black and white it's very simple and it changes from very colorful collections that we're used to so i i really i really enjoyed working with that i i, I would say it was really fun for a change because I was working with parcel before so you can imagine it's quite different and then we have this one which also has a heart clip and 
another memory decks which is basically the same so because they're very similar she can decide to keep one of them and gift the other one or keep both of them um i was thinking of just keeping one for sending to someone else but yeah i'm i don't think i'm gonna use that collection again soon so i just thought i would send her both and then she can decide whatever she wants to do with both so next um there is quite a lot of things guys i'm sorry um next we have these file folders that i put in this uh cute bag again that i bought on ali and so here is how they look um yeah i'm not gonna undo the Bow simply because it took me time to to put it together but there's just some die cuts in here and then this is how it's decorated again it took me so much time you guys just to die cut like these numbers because she she used this die like a similar die on her on her channel and she was I don't know it looked so effortless I was like wow this is great but I didn't realize how much time they take to make like die cut all of these like letters and then glue them is just wow it's so much effort you guys but i think they turned out really good and i love i loved adding the flower there i think it looks really pretty so next up we have this um which i think is a panelisa die from uh, aliexpress and yeah it's basically these i'm not gonna show you what's inside because because it's just gonna take too much time uh but it's these like cute little uh boxes are tied together and yeah i really love this die i've already used it for parasol and i love how it turned out next up we have these which I also need to decorate uh, very simply. Maybe I'm just gonna add some twine around um, these envelopes. But oh shoot! Oh no. Okay, never mind. Um, so this is also inspired by Karina. Uh, she makes these really beautiful, really beautiful envelopes. Um and um cards so this is how they look like i actually need to put like a stamp here but yeah this is the, how the first one turned out i invite you to check out karina's videos because she makes the most beautiful um yeah hers are amazing but i tried my best for mine to look as pretty um but yeah this is how this first one turned out i I used this star die and I puffed on puffed on uh, foam and then also the heart die. And then some of these are from the collection, the embellishment and tickets. And then this, these flowers I die cut it myself. And, um, and also these stars I die cut it. This love word I die cut it. And yeah, the butterflies as well. And then I made a second one. I also love how this one turned out. Um, so this one is a bit different. Um, I decorated also this part, this side, and then yeah, I love the um, beautiful like yeah star shape again, and I think it turned out really pretty. So yeah, I really love how this one, how they turned out. So that's that and then i made like an extra one that she can also decorate i just stitched everything and she can just yeah decorate it herself so that was nice and next thing is this bag and inside i have some store-bought goodies and i just decorated with this um these tickets and xoxo word and yeah clip and i love these vintage pockets and it's not stitched at the top so she can just reuse them to put some goodies inside and I'm really trying you guys to try and make more 
um, reusable packaging and also reuse the packaging like here. This is a Woodland Grove packaging that I received because I know we are probably polluting the ocean so much with our plastic. Although it's probably, re I try to put it in the recycle bin. I, yeah, I prefer to try and reuse uh, what I have and make more reusable packaging. So, yeah. And the last project um, that's in this box, finally, I'm sorry for this video being so long, you guys, um, is this pocket letter. So I also need to package it up nicely. Um, but let me show you how it looks. Um, I think it turned out really pretty. And yeah, so let's start from from the top. So here I decorated very simply with some stars and some elements from the collection. And this one I left blank because I thought this was already a really pretty paper. And on the other side we have a sequence mix that I made and I think it looks beautiful and goes really well with the collection. I think the center part is my favorite. I love that it says love and happy mail. And I, I, I specifically love this part. The ballerina makes me think of Gatha, the Gatha collection. And there's also a really nice vintage bingo card that I put here. And I love the banner and the pole read framed. I think it just turned out really, really pretty. And here we have again the sequence mix in the middle. The happy meal and then some flowers um i think i also like put some yeah uh, butterflies but they fell off because this is plastic it's really hard to adhere anything on there except i think foam double-sided tape works really well but first i tried glue for these and it didn't work so yeah and then the last part is this beautiful house i showed you earlier that <laughs> now is in action i would say um yeah that i put on the pocket ladder i added these chipboard butterflies up there and then this beautiful floral piece that i made with the the leaves sorry and uh, on the side i put this beautiful these beautiful trims i think were sent to me by Anna, I assume, but I'm not 100% sure. And this, like, beautiful, yeah, ruffle trim and then the heart trim. So, yeah, I think they turned out so pretty. I mean, it turned out so, so pretty, sorry. And then on the other, on the other side, um, I have some ruffles here. And then I have some stars die cut. I need to make more, but I really wanted to share this video, but I'm going to add more die cuts uh, in the back. And I also have some words. So again, I'm going to add more words. That I'm going to die cut because I also have a lot of leftover of paper. And then I have this word love that I used literally everywhere throughout the swap. I have the ballerinas. And the beautiful florals that I made. Let me take them out because I think they deserve to be seen. Um, yes, yeah, so we have the leaves. And so for some of them I used glitter paper and others I used yeah this gold paper. And then I also have a like pink flower. I just need to add the gold because I didn't die cut the gold. So I'm going to include that as well. So I guess that's everything, you guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you, Karina, for letting me send you this mail. Uh, thank you for sharing your work, your true inspiration. And I hope you will like everything. I really hope so. And yeah, so sorry, you guys. I just realized I forgot to show what was inside this box. So I'm just showing it now. Um, but uh, at the end of the video... <laughs> Um, but I have the, these uh, flowers that I made um, yeah, throughout um, the swap that I used also throughout the swap and I just, I'm just i just gifting her some. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye!